Okay, here's a Seth Thomas clock. It's working and going. And this originally, believe it or not, came from, if you can see it in the video, Kitchener Police Department. Who knows, 1930s, 1940s, have no idea. But anyways, there's one of them. Right here, and then here's another clock. Just have to climb up the stairs. That's a very nice clock. And it's called an Ingraman. It does, it's a regulator. It's a wall clock. Unfortunately, the glass is, is cracked, but that's okay. It still works great. The next one is a really nice clock. And it is about the 1950s vintage. And you can see back there it says B. And I believe that's a German clock. And it's a really nice looking clock. And as you can see in right there, the next one that we really like is a cuckoo clock. But unfortunately it's not for sale. It belongs to my wife. The next one is a Canadian time. And it is made in Berlin. But unfortunately, it's missing its top and its bottom skirt. But I guess it had a hard life, so that one's selling a little cheaper. This clock is a business clock. It weighs about 10 kilograms, but unfortunately, it's not for sale. Nice clock. This is a Seth Thomas when Seth Thomas decided to um, make clocks in Canada so they could avoid having to pay tax as they shipped or exported their clocks from the States. That's a really nice clock. It works well. Actually, all the clocks you were seeing, they all function. So that's that. Then up here, we have a really nice clock by Pagenot, and it is made in Berlin, and it works just fabulous. Unfortunately, the gong itself sometimes has run on and just keeps going. Let's go over here. There's my first Pantheon clock, and that is running and going. It's a beautiful clock. And then over here we have a Seth Thomas bell clock. No gongs. It's all bells. And let's just make it go. <clears throat> totally awesome. That particular clock is going for $600, and unfortunately, there's no negotiation at all. That just is the price for that one. It's a very rare clock by Seth Thomas. I believe it was built in the 40s. And then over here is another Pantheon clock. That's actually, this is the one that's up for sale. And it works like a charm, of course. And then over here, is two Brandons, a Canadian time, and both are calendar and clock, no strike. Canadian time is strike and clock. The, um, neither of these, this is, this is made in Canada, this was after the First World War, so it's not Berlin. And the Canadian time is not a Berlin. And that is also not Berlin. So all of these clocks were built after the First World War. Then we have over here a medium size grandmother clock. Beautiful clock. It's just, uh, it's built in the 60s. 
it's a, a lovely mid-size clock. Uh, it's not anything, it's not a collectible, it's just a really nice grandmother clock if somebody wanted to have a clock. This is an excellent working clock. And I, it's made by Sessions, and this is a very um, typical format for a mantel clock. You can see the three pillars on either side. It goes, it works. Uh, 1930s, I believe, is the criteria for that. This is a very large grandfather clock. Came from the 70s. I have to get back a long way to see that. It's heavy, it works, it goes. Um, anyways, it is there, it is actually for sale. And then out here, we have more clocks. This little guy over here is made by Sessions. And it actually goes, it's a nice little clock, not that expensive to buy. And there it is. And then we have a box clock up here. As you can see, uh, the weights are with it. It does not function, so it's going for a reasonable price. This is a little gingerbread clock. And it is a nice, very nicely done clock. And the one next to it, uh, it's a Sessions. And it's referred to as a, a beehive clock, which is here. Okay, the rest of them, um, I can certainly show you when you're here. Thanks so much, and hope to see you soon.